These plans to start charging for education have come out of the blue and they are totally unacceptable. Education should be a right, not a privilege. The reason for this meeting is to decide what action in protest is to be taken in order to draw as much publicity as possible to our plight as part of a nationwide protest. On Wednesday, we've been asked by the National Union of Students to have a day of action, such as a sit-in or a walk-out. May I call for a vote to determine whether or not action is to be taken? Those in favour, raise your hands. Maybe it would be quite an idea to get the local Tory MP and the local Labour candidate and actually put <coughs> questions to them about what they intend to do about it. That means we've got to talk to the Tory. Yeah. Sort of like a yeah. I, think we should have a I think we should stop them going in. Yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. them going into the pub. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but the public won't view it with a great students. deal of interest. Oh, it's it's right. Good publicity, though, not, not bad publicity. If, for instance, we went and picketed, say, down at the county hall in Bournemouth or whatever. I think you should do both. Maybe the best idea would be to have two main pickets, one of the local education authority and one of the college here, like Sue suggested, at the end of the road, to try and get the other students at the other college interested and make those the two focal points of activity during the whole day. So it's nine o'clock, meeting here for a rally, then 12.30 to the square, um, then in the afternoon I'm just going up to Dorchester with a few people to hand this tissue did. All right. Yeah, from last Monday. It's £39 million been cut from the grants. If you get minimum grant now, you won't next year. When I tried to get someone to speak for the cuts, I had great difficulties. Uh, the DES said they had no one free to explain the cuts to us. I phoned both the Conservative Association for East and West Bournemouth, our local MP, and uh, several other Conservative bodies, and, and none of them said they wanted to speak. Hello? Bournemouth West Conservative Association. Most of them said that... Uh, it was a question of not having somebody of the right calibre available at the time. I'm wondering if you'd be able to send someone to speak informing us of the reasons behind them. Well, obviously a debate needs two viewpoint, viewpoints and it would be to your advantage to express uh, your opinions on it. Have you got no one available who could speak in favour of the cuts? I see. Well, thanks very much for your trouble anyway. Bye-bye. just scabs really. They should realise we've had a lot of publicity, they know the issues, they've been reading the papers, but they shouldn't be crossing the picket lines. 
from their position, it's quite logical, isn't it? Because they are they are Tories, they are rich, and and they have privilege, and therefore it is in their interest to keep those who haven't got wealth and haven't got privilege and and haven't got any power in society down. And the best way to keep them down is to cut their money. They're doing it on unemployment. They're doing it on. Doing it on uh, government training schemes, they're doing it in, in, uh, in the health service, all over the place. It's not just students that have been affected, minors and everything. Check everybody out! Stay together in a group, you know, so it's obvious we're all together. If we all get split up, it's going to cause no impact, alright? So you're supporters in the cut against the cuts? Oh, definitely. Great. Definitely. Any cuts that they do. Oh, there's more people like you. They want <laughs> shooting out. They're no good at all. Absolutely no good at all. Uh, no, the time the government they got rid of. Them. But unless they, they won't do it unless they get you know people all together. Yes, if they don't unite together, the Tories unite together. Oh yeah. Oh, they, yeah. Bournemouth uh, is not a hotbed of revolutionary activity and from what Vicky has been able to tell me then you've had a really excellent day so if this is anything to go by then uh, it sounds good for the rest of the country. Now you've got to make up your mind which side you're on. Either you want an education, you want to be able to use marvellous buildings like this, you want to reach your full potential as an individual human being, male or female. If you want to do that you're going to have to fight, you're going to have to take on the system and you're going to have to take on the Tories who represent that economic system. So I would say to you, and with great respect, never having been a student, but being an active trade unionist and knowing what's gone on now in the last eight or nine months with the National Union of Mine Workers, if they go, everything goes. So there is a link with everything that's happening, every dispute you have a vested interest in. This government will do what we allow it to do. They will get away with whatever we allow them to get away with. Our students must play a part in that. We're fighting now for our future, the future of the education system, a future that works. I'm very, very encouraged by what I've seen today, the action you've taken today. When places like Bournemouth are doing activity like this, you know that the cause is just, and you know when you see it on the front of some of the right-wing right -wing press, like you have in the sticks here, that students are out, and there's not one seeming criticism of the action you've taken this morning. That's when we're winning the case, and that is what we've got to build on for the future. Thank you. I'm picking all of the, I've got to say there's an old campaigner in the 1972 strike. We didn't win it. I can tell you now, insultly, we did not win it. We were there for a fortnight battling with the police. It is the other unions that won it for us, the car workers. And I'll never forget it as long as I live. It is on a Thursday morning, the first thing we heard was a lone piper. And when they all combined together and the women in the front, the chief constable looked at it, he said, lock the gates, it will not open no more. So uh, you've got to, yourselves, you've got to have backing of the other unions. We're not having it. As you can see with the two you see, we, we're not going to go very far like this till they back us more to the earth. More action we want, it's all you're getting now with most of them is, well, I'm all right, Jack. But uh, they don't realise, because once we go, you've had it. And I'm telling you now, once they knock us off, you've all had it. All, all those charges against the present government are fully borne out by the latest step that's taken, the one that so directly affects you and your members throughout the country. But of course, it's embodied in its overall approach, which is, can be summed up, if you've got somebody down, make sure you keep them down. Last week, it was the miners and their families and their dependents who were cut 
in their supplementary budget. Next, it's the students. The students don't have industrial power. In some places they may be unpopular with some people, so let's kick them next. And that's exactly what this government acts upon as a principle. But let you have noticed that the Tory backbenchers are revolting. of some four million unemployed and the number going up. They may not have been stirred by the gradual ruination of our economy under the policies of the present government. They may not have been stirred by the colossal cost of the mining dispute. They may not have been disturbed by the effects of the education cuts on the education of the children and the young people of this country. But clearly they've been stirred by you as students and by the pressure of your parents. Yeah, Rodney Bickerstaff of Newford. Thank you. They say all this money that should be going to those babies, that should be going to the old, that should be going to the sick and the disabled, and that should be going to students and education for the future. They say it's needed elsewhere to protect us. To protect us. It's for the four minute warning, eh? Four minute. <laughs> It took them seven bloody months to find which way the Belgrano was going. I wish you well. You were fine, I was fine, I was fine, you were fine.